I bought Pepper's brilliant bumper coloring book for three dollars and I'm gonna draw a disturbing horror art in it and then return it to the store where an unsuspecting victim will pick it up and see what's inside. I'm just kidding, I wouldn't do that. That'd be evil. I'll make a YouTube video instead. Let's colour in Peppa and her friends with some beautiful crayons. This video is a horror parody. If you're easily scared or stumbled across this video expecting a family-friendly colouring tutorial, do not watch this video. I joke around a lot, but I'm not actually trying to traumatise anyone. Now that little Timmy has clicked off the video and is watching some Coco Melon nursery rhymes, that's right, little Timmy. Stop annoying mummy and daddy and go watch my YouTube playlists. Who needs hands-on parenting when you've got YouTube? I'm not judging. Like and subscribe. For those of you who have decided to stick around, I think this is going to be a really fun video. There's around 12 different transformations, I spent over 30 hours of drawing, I put a lot of effort in, and that sounds weird talking about drawing in a kid's colouring book, but I'm passionate about these videos I make. I was a little bit disappointed in myself with the previous video I put out on my channel. I was in a bit of a slump, not feeling too motivated. You know, it happens to all of us. What are you talking about, silly? Grab those Copic markers and keep drawing. I mean, keep having fun drawing pretty pictures for everybody. Lots of people say, how do you stay motivated drawing all the time? Well, I don't always stay motivated, but I just do my best. Anyway, before things get too sentimental, I've finished the first transformation. And for anyone who has played Little Nightmares, this one might be familiar. What's for lunch, mummy? <coughs> Bacon. But if that doesn't sound very appetising, there's always wriggly worms. Or here in Australia, we much prefer the delicacy of the juicy and succulent witchetty grub. Confession, I'm not a good Australian, I have never eaten a witchetty grub, but according to a quick Google search, they taste like almonds if eaten raw, or scrambled eggs or chicken once cooked. I wonder what they taste like after they eat pig though. Will they taste like bacon? Hello everyone, I would like to share a quick reminder that drawing happy things is good and drawing scary things is bad. Draw lots of happy things like this. Not like this. Jordan, I've told you to stop it! Pepper and George have a little train set in their bedroom. They take turns to zoom the train around the track. Choo Choo Charles is an indie horror game which you may have played, and that's what this drawing is based off. Up next, I'm drawing Grandpa Pig, who happens to look like a saggy potato. In fact, maybe he's just planted some potatoes alongside his carrots. Gardening is fun. But gardening is even more fun when you do it alongside a friendly companion. And luckily for Grandpa Pig, someone has stopped by to keep him company. Normally in my videos, I have lots of Five Nights at Freddy's inspired artworks or Junji Ito ones, but this time, Little Nightmares has been getting all the attention. I love the different character designs from that game, and I couldn't help myself but draw a couple of them. And spoilers, there might be another one coming later in the video, so keep an eye out for that. But next, I want to draw a tribute to one of my favourite games from last year. Can you guess what it might be?
Elden Ring meets Peppa Pig. That's a crossover that I never thought would happen. The joys of YouTube. Getting content you never thought you wanted, but here it is anyway. A mild trypophobia warning coming up for this drawing. It's really not that bad compared to previous drawings I've done on the channel, but I thought I'd warn you anyway, in case you were easily grossed out or disturbed. But I like to think I'm helping cure people's trypophobia by repeated exposure therapy. You can thank me later. Or you could just give the video a thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll call it even. Now look into the hole. You're doing so well, just hang in there, look at the pretty flowers, focus on the petals, the green leaves, and just relax, and be calm. Now look back at the little holes, what's inside the holes, they're everywhere, it feels like your skin is itching, your skin is turning into... Yeah, I definitely shouldn't be a therapist. But what did you think of this transformation? If I had to give it a grade between A and F, I'd give it a B. Bees like flowers. So let's draw some pretty flowers for those bees. And what better than beautiful sunflowers? You know who else likes sunflowers? Creepy dude with a big pair of scissors. Obviously. If you're wondering who this creepy character is, he can be found in concept art from Little Nightmares 2. Ironically, it looks like he was cut from the game, <laughs> which is fitting, but maybe he'll show up in the third instalment. We'll have to wait and see. Super strawberries. Look at all these strawberry plants growing in the ground. Delicious. Use your red crayons to color them in. I've got a better idea. Peppa's found a new place to plant her strawberries. With the help of her mum, of course. Organic strawberry farming, Junji Ito style. After a hard day of gardening, Peppa likes to kick back and relax. She even made a nice glass of strawberry juice. With the help of her mum, of course. I wish mum was with me to enjoy this drink. I guess in a way she is. Are you sick of gardening drawings yet? Because here's another one. Oh, you're sick of seeing them? I drew in this book for over 30 hours. How do you think I feel? This is a representation of what will happen to your skin if you spend your time gardening outside in summer in Australia. Don't forget to put on sunscreen! Slip slop slap, yeah! And here we have a pair of zombie garden pigs. Just because you're undead doesn't mean you don't want to get out in the garden and get your hands dirty. <laughs> Am I right, everyone? <laughs> everyone likes gardening, right? Why did we design a whole book about gardening? Damn it. If we want this colouring book to sell, we need to spice things up. Kids like some action. Think adrenaline sports. 
Can we put in a colouring page featuring skateboards, scooters, or maybe a wheelchair? Look, let's stick with two wheels, it's easier to draw, and chuck the scooters in. Kids love that stuff, you know? Tony Hawk. Another daily reminder to wear sunscreen, even when it's cloudy. Those harsh Australian UV rays will burn your eyeballs right in their sockets. You should also remember to brush and floss your teeth after each meal for good oral hygiene. Thanks for reminding me. I'll be sure to floss me teeth after I catch this little bugger! Get back here, George! Okay, looks like I've gone insane. 30 plus hours drawing in a Peppa Pig colouring book will do that, even to the strongest of minds. So I think it's time to wrap things up with the final transformation of the video. Release the Kraken! Before we finish this video by sailing off into the sunset, or getting dragged down to the depths of the ocean, more likely. I want to quickly thank everyone for supporting my channel over the years. All the supportive comments have really helped me stay motivated and making content like this. I know the video is kind of silly, but I still really appreciate it. The people look forward to seeing my videos when I release them. Blows my mind. My channel has come a long way and that would not be possible without all of you guys. Special thanks have to go to my amazing patrons for supporting my channel even more. You guys are awesome, and I'll catch you all in the next drawing video. Bye.